In this video, I'll be answering the question, how much do you need to spend on a graphics tablet to create high quality art? And also stick around because at the end of the video, I'll be explaining how you can win a UG M708 graphics tablet by entering my competition. So hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'll be taking a look at the UG M708 graphics tablet, giving it a thorough look over and review. I'll be considering whether these cheaper tablets are now good enough that we don't really need to bother with expensive brands. So the UG M708 costs around $50, depending on where you're based. And that's a typical price for this kind of mid-range tablet of this size. The more expensive brands, the Wacom and the Sense Lab, which I reviewed recently, they're around 300. It's got a drawing area of 10 inch by six inch, which is a good size and probably the best size to go for if you can afford it. It's got tilt support, it's got programmable buttons on the side of the tablet, and you can program those for different programs. So switching between, let's say, Blender and Photoshop, you can use different buttons for each without having to go into the settings. It's powered through a single USB cable. The pen's wireless, so there's no charging. And the pen has two programmable buttons as well. And that is very important if you're doing work in Blender. Using one of the pen buttons for the middle mouse button is vital. In the past with these mid-level graphics tablets around this price, I've had problems installing drivers, but they seem to have sorted these things out. I installed the drivers and it worked without any problems at all. In the pen test, I drew a straight line using a ruler and there wasn't much pen wobble. I don't find that's massively important. It's sort of the classic test that you do with these tablets, but you really don't notice it when you're drawing. The pen pressure felt really nice and that was just with the basic settings. I didn't have to change anything. I could easily go from a narrow to thick brush or strong to hard brush really smoothly and my curved lines felt really nice and comfortable. I actually preferred this to the Sense Lab that I tried recently and that's one of the more expensive brands. So how does it feel generally when I'm painting and drawing and sculpting? I did a quick practice sketch, but unfortunately Critter crashed on me. Nothing to do with the tablet, I just haven't updated Critter for a while and I keep forgetting. I must admit in the more expensive tablets, I prefer the pens that are used. The size just feels more comfortable in my hand and the buttons are a bit better positioned. It's certainly nothing that warrants the big price difference though. I'm actually thinking of getting a laptop soon so I can work a bit more remotely and I'm going to keep this tablet and use it for that. It worked really nicely in Blender as well. Again, no driver problems. It all worked just fine. I would say on that note that the quality of the graphics tablet isn't as important if you're sculpting for some reason. I've found you don't have to be as detailed, but it does make more of a difference for 2D painting or texture painting. So you can definitely get away with cheaper tablets for sculpting. Having said that, I found this tablet was really great for both 2D and the sculpting. So how does this compare to something like Wacom? or maybe the Sense Lab I reviewed a short time ago. Well, yes, again, it's not quite as comfortable in my opinion, and that could be a more preference thing. The Sense Labs does come with some nice features. It can be used wirelessly, so no cables. It has two pens of different sizes. It has a nice controller, but it's not really worth 250 pounds more. The Wacom's a similar cost, but doesn't have some of those extras. So I would say, don't bother with the more expensive brands. I just don't really feel it's worth it in my opinion. Yes, if you're drawing and painting absolutely loads all of the time, then get top of the range kit for that maybe 3% difference in feel, but otherwise stick to these tablets. However, this is not the same advice I would give about display tablets. Wacom is still the best here, and for serious artists, I would still recommend them. Having said that, I have a display tablet that's not Wacom, and I'm pretty happy with it. So to sum up, the UG M708 is a great tablet at a good price, and I would say, don't bother buying an expensive tablet, it's just not worth it. You're quite welcome to ridicule me in the comments below. <laughs> so onto the competition. Now I know lots of you can't afford a tablet, so here's your chance to get one. The theme of the competition is original game characters. And I want you to draw this using traditional methods, not digitally. So for example, use pencil and paper or pen and ink, it doesn't matter, but it must be traditional. The reason being is that I want to give this tablet to someone who has not got a tablet, but has been practicing their art, building up their skill levels and would really benefit from one. The competition will end in two weeks, so the deadline is the 17th of August at 11.59 p.m. and the lucky winner will have an M708 sent out to them. I'll be doing a quick results video highlighting the winner and some of the entries of note. Now I'm really sorry, but due to the postage costs and the sponsorship constraints, I'm only able to accept entries from the United States, Britain, France, Italy and Spain. That list will be in the description. Now I know that this now I know that this will be very disappointing to many of you, but that's the constraints I'm having to work with. Hopefully in the future there will be other opportunities in other countries. If these videos are successful, then I can reach out for more sponsorship like this and do bigger competitions with bigger prizes. So maybe share this video to show the sponsors that we really do count. 
Also, I have 20 40% off coupons, and I'll give those away to the first people to comment below with the word coupon, and you'll receive your discount code, but I can only do that 20 times. So check the comments to see if you've got anywhere. And again, I'm very sorry, but that's only the countries listed in the description that I mentioned earlier. To enter the competition, go to the channel on my Discord and post your artwork there. So lastly, thanks to Yuji for sending me the tablet and thanks to you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.